And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Northeast, up against Ed Bickle. I sure hope that's not his real name. I don't, if that's a reference, I don't get it. Uh, he is the Red Zerg in the Southwest. The map is Steps of War. Once again, a very short map between the expansions. The expansions are relatively safe here, uh, but uh, something I didn't mention earlier, you know, Reapers um, could just own this expansion here. Easily getting up there, not going around uh, to the main ramp here. But uh, Reapers are so rare these days. They're really the only ones that I know of that can get up there, unless of course you get Blink Stalkers and an Observer. You, need, you do need the site before you can blink an observer up a cliff like that. Not seeing anything out of the ordinary here. Observer and drones. Um, he does have a lead in the harvest, well, in the income it looks like right now. Uh, because, uh, well, he's Zerg and they always take an early lead and that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's, he, you know, he can produce two at once. I cannot do that. I'm so envious. Uh, but as far as I know, there no, there's no plans to get a reactor on the command center. I do know you can do that in the single player, but I never did. I went for the auto refineries. Yeah, I just like them better. He is getting that spawning pool. Uh, looks like it was a 14 spawning pool. Uh, 14 gas it looked like. So I went in and I was like, huh, spawning pool and a refinery and no expansion. So I'm assuming that he's going to be getting speed links, especially since he's trying to harass my barracks. Uh, usually when they harass the barracks like that, uh, they go for a quick rush. Here I've sent an SCV around to help. Uh, he wants to take minerals to my base apparently. And there we go. Shift key all over the freaking base. That's insane. Orbital command coming out. Marines should be coming up soon. Did I? Oh, I went for the second barracks first before getting that Marine. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, but I also forgot to get the refinery. Oh my gosh. Early drone harassment picking me apart early and throwing me completely off my game. Uh, didn't get the refinery. Uh, I usually want that up, or at least get that started when this is a little before halfway through uh, being built. So I can get um, either 25 up or 50 up by the time that first uh, that first Marine comes out. He does send another Overlord to scout out my base, or at least that, no, that's the first one out. Uh, the second one's hanging out by his expo. Uh, Roach Warren coming up, so we should be seeing probably some early Roach pushes here. He did, he, even though he's getting the Zergling speed, um, doesn't look like he's going to be using it because he went for Roaches instead. Second Marine comes out, so I take out that Overlord. And does that Supply Lock him? Yes, it does. Uh, never underestimate the power of taking out an Overlord. So because I did see that early spawning pool, or relatively early spawning pool, you know, in, instead of the hatchery, I do assume that he's going to be doing some kind of rush. So I do block off the base here and I do some fancy supply depot management to get both SCVs back inside the base. Uh, I did tr test that there. No, there, you cannot go through with anything. So I do get the second reactor up. Or second barracks up. Uh, first one got a reactor. Second one gets a tech lab. Third barracks going up. That one should get a tech lab as well. As Ed gets out his first three roaches, it looks like, right about the time that his zergling speed comes up. So he never got any zerglings, it doesn't look like. No, no zerglings on the field. Even though he went for the zergling speed. So interesting. Uh, to say the least. He did uh, get the expansion a little later than uh, most Zerg uh, that I've been playing lately. Usually they go for that 14 hatch. Uh, this guy went for the 13, or sorry, 14 pool. A little interesting, a little more, I don't want to say old school because that was like a month ago, but ever since the, the Reaper, little pre-Reaper nerf, I'll say that. And wow, 
Uh, Overlord's all over the field here. Checking out a lot of stuff on his base. I did take one out, so... Oh, no, he's still pretty supply-locked. I would assume that he would overcompensate, like I usually do if you take out my supply depot and I become supply-locked. I just start massing supply depots. But here we go. Two overlords coming out, so he does overreact. It's just a little late. Meanwhile, I am getting a factory. Yay, stim pack. And the first uh, weapons upgrade for my infantry. That is becoming more and more my favorite build, is three racks into an engineering bay, then into a factory. Uh, get that first uh, weapons upgrade at least. Uh, get as many upgrades on the tech lab as I can. D looks like I forgot to do that this game, though. And here I go out to secure my expansion, make sure there's nothing in there. Do I even check back there? No, it looks like I'm going to be going for an early push here when I saw that he didn't go for anything. Where am I going? What is going on here? I don't know why I checked out this expansion here. <laughs> I honestly can't remember. But meanwhile, there we go. I do get the concussive shells on this one. Stimpak should be finishing shortly after that I hope I remember to get the combat shield he does finally get zerglings out looks like 24 of them are on the way he did upgrade it, that first hatchery into a lair and here I come with my first push and oh look at that here come the zerglings oh 30 seconds faster if I hadn't gone for that expansion over here I don't even know why I went there I would have easily won this battle but instead the zerglings are out and of course with that speed there's no point in microing these guys so the roaches will finish the job here I selected that calf just because I wanted to so it looks like he's getting the first attack upgrades he is absolutely destroying me in APM that's pretty typical at this point and here we go. And there he runs. No need to stim. Whoa, 300 APM. That is crazy. That is that is Diamond League. I will tell you that right now. Uh, 300 APM. If you can keep that up, more power to you. I cannot. Uh, but looking at the units lost, I am slightly behind. Wow, I did not think I would be, but those Zerglings are cheap. Remember, it's two for 50. It's, you know, buy one, get one free on Zerglings every day at the hatchery. Uh, looks like he is going to be droning up here. He did get the Baneling Nest out. Um, now he's going to be going for the expansion here. Um, this expansion up here. Uh, I did check mine out, um, but didn't do anything with it. If I didn't, you know, once again, that probably would have been game over. Uh, but I do have siege tanks out, missile turrets going up. I finally learned my lesson. Hey, if I spend, if I send four out, I can get them done four times fast. And of course, I immediately send them back in. I just, you know, shift click back onto the minerals, so I don't waste any time here. Get them back to mining. I am going for an expansion, securing that with those siege tanks. Siege tech should. Oh, it's already done. So you guys should be sieged up. Unless I'm going for a push again. Uh, do you have them selected? Oh, no, never mind. It uh, looks like I hotkeyed them, but that was it. Uh, looking at the spending, uh, he has spent the most on his economy. I mean, he's got so many more drones than I do. Uh, but, of course, I am pretty even when I have my mules out. Uh, but they just blew up, so I don't have them out anymore. So he does have the lead in income by a lot. Uh, but I have still spent more on the technology and the army. Uh, so very interesting uh, spending from both of us. And those Zerglings, even though they were later than I had expected, they are going to be playing an important part of this game. At least they already did. And here we go. 
I am going for my second push here. I do notice the tr creep going down all over the place here. Taking out Nova Lord just because I can. One Marine hanging out. He's too scared. He does not like the look of the Zerglings. And I take out almost all the Roaches before the Zerglings come in. So bad management by him. Even with that high APM, he was unable to send his units in properly. I did finish Siege Mode using that pro using that uh, as best I can. I, I want to keep them moving while I'm under harassment from these mutas. Uh, but... And then as soon as they're gone, the hatchery is down thanks to the marauders. And here I automatically notice, hey, those drones are going somewhere. So I do know that he has this base up here. Um, if uh, that wasn't clarification enough, this drone coming back definitely is. I've always wondered that. Can't they change the, the drone AI uh, to just automatically mine the, the closest minerals from the whatever command center hatchery what have you oh and look there it is game over from him he did not have as much as i thought he would but he still has a ton of um s just stuff to spend here uh he was working on mutas almost the entire time it looked like but he sent them out one by one he should have clustered them in his base here and then sent them out all at once focus down the marines there were a lot of them, uh, more on the way if I'd ever sent them. Uh, then he could have easily taken out the tanks and the marauders, no problem. But instead he went for the second level upgrade and was forced to GG. He did a great job of hiding his tech, the spire in the back. Uh, of course, I would never scan in the back, even though I should learn to do that. If I was scan, scan up front, I'd see the evolution chamber and the roach warren. The roaches is what um, really helped me decide what to do in this game. When I saw the roaches come around, or when I attacked them here and I saw the roaches, I knew that it wasn't going to be a heavy, uh, or at least a quick muta build. So I didn't, I never bothered getting missile turrets at my expansion, even though I did finally see them there. And the roaches uh, is what. Uh, made me decide to go for that second push there because the siege tanks of course can do massive amounts of damage 50 damage to armored and of course these guys do extra damage oh this guy's a hero look at that one hp and seven kills corporal hero marauder that guy deserves a medal so i hope you guys laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time bye